Hi guys, it's Elaine. Thanks for joining me. I hope you guys are having a good day and enjoying the holidays. Um, I went to see my daughter over the holidays and was able to uh, go to a Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to show you guys a uh, quick video of some of the things I've got. So they had their fall stuff 90% uh, off. So <clears throat> I picked up these leaves. Two different styles. So these I'll be able to use next year or whenever I make a fall journal. And this style is a little different. I also got these uh, pumpkins, and they said they're placemats. Let's see. Place cards. Yeah. So these I'll be able to use in a, a fall journal or a Halloween journal. And there's uh, quite a few different things that you can uh, do with these. There's nothing inside, written inside, so they can always be used as uh, journaling cards. We got three bags of those, and they were regular $2.99, but they were 90% off. <clears throat> I also went over into the uh, sewing department and picked up some uh, material. I figured they would have their Christmas material on sale, on sale, so I went over to the clearance. And they had some uh, fabric remnants. And this was $2.99. I figured uh, this could be used for journal covers or um, fabric flips. And you can always fussy cut the trees and the birds out. And I got this. And I think this was 60% uh, off. It wasn't in the remnants. With the red truck, wheelbarrow, snowman, and wreaths to use as uh, covers or uh, fabric flips. Or the car could be fussy cut out. And, uh, sewn on a uh, page in a journal. Here's some more fabric that I got. I plan on making some um, recipe journals, so I figured this would be really good to use in those. A half a yard, and it was just one seventy nine. More fabric. Remnant, and this was just solid red, and it's forty four inches wide, and. Uh, 10 inches long and it was just 60 cents. Picked up some of these little uh, gift tags that could be used in your Christmas journals. You make all kinds of ephemera out of that. And I've got this that I'm going to put in my stash for my um, cowboy journals with fringe. I'll be able to use that some in one of my journals. And it was just 36 cents. And this was just 40 cents. This small remnant, remnant of fabric.
And we have some uh, white checks, which was just, uh, this piece of fabric was just uh, 97 cents. Could be used in my recipe journals. And some fringe. dark blue fringe got it for just uh, 56 cents more trim that was uh, 192 on sale at the clearance This is just uh, 192 to be used in um, wedding journals. It's a nice piece of trim. It could be cut up into pieces. And this, which is a good buy, a lot of this trim, this cardboard, and it was just uh, 750. 744 which I can use in a lot of uh, vintage journals beautiful piece of trim so next is a couple of um, dies that I got that were on sale uh, this is of a far place the regular $12.99 I got it for uh, $7.79 And this Spellbinders die I got for $13.19. It was regular $21.99. Still pretty expensive. It dies. Most of the dies that I've seen around are real expensive. And here's a Physix Finley die. Regular $22.99. I got it for $5.74. So that was a good buy. 16 dies in all. And I got this die. It's a wedding die of the bride and groom in the car leaving the uh, church. And I got it for $4.74, regular $19. So I scored quite a few things. Um, didn't have to spend much, which is what I like. Trying to get stuff on sale or uh, clearance. So thank you guys for joining me. Uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Have a nice day, and I'll see you at my next video. Bye.